is this, Landry? Uh, hmm. I think it's a Stargate. Whoa, cool. I'm going to hide my acorns in that. Well, we're going to have to figure out what this thing is. I have a feeling we're going to learn all about it. Going backwards, here is the LEGO Dimensions Starter Pack. The set contains 269 pieces. Included is the LEGO Gaming Portal platform, which has a fancy buildable Stargate on it. Three characters come with the set. Batman, of course, with his Batmobile. Gandalf from Lords of the Rings, and Wildstyle from the LEGO Movie. On the back of the package, you can see the main features of LEGO Dimensions, buildable platform portal, place your figure on it, and enjoy your figure in the gameplay. It's really quite insane how many licenses are involved with this. Ghostbusters, Lords of the Rings, Scooby-Doo, Back to the Future, Doctor Who, just to name a few. You can venture through any world with any character, save the LEGO Multiverse from destruction, and missions, puzzles, battles, and more. Inside the main package, you get your LEGO Portal game platform device thingy that hooks into your game system. You get a more traditional box of LEGOs to build your little Stargate plus the minifigures. There is a hard copy of the game for your platform, and a nice poster guide of all the figures and different characters available for LEGO Dimensions. I am so going to travel through that Stargate! As for that traditional box of LEGOs for LEGO Dimensions, on the back of the box you can see the many different kinds of minifigures available for the LEGO Dimensions series. Inside the LEGO Dimensions box, we have instructions to build your portal, baggie number one of LEGOs, baggie number two of more LEGOs, baggie number three, some stickers, oh, and some sort of platform. Starting with the number one bag, let's build up some minifigures. I say, whose pants are these? I'm Batman. Oh, okay, then I must be Gandalf. And here are the three main minifigures involved with the starter pack. We have a Wild Style with her relic detector accessory. We have a Batman featured in a more realistic suit. And we have Gandalf pretty much as Gandalf. Now let's work on that number two bag, the Stargate I like to call it. Raptor not included.
And there it is, your main LEGO Dimensions gaming portal. That Stargate was a really fun build. Lots of intricate things going on with it, lots of hinges, lots of light blue transparent LEGO pieces going on. It really feels like an advanced technical machine. Now it's that time where you'll probably want to plug it into your game system and begin playing. Alright, let's get this game going. Loading. And the portal lights up. Hey, you can see me. Hi. High definition squirrel stampede. So there's a little bit of an intro with the game as always. Opening title. Ooh. I won't bore you. Basically one of those all-powerful guys. So here's the main menu. Batman, Wildstyle, Gandalf, a monkey from Wizard of Oz, Portal Girl. Even though I started one last night, I'm gonna do another one just to kind of mess around with the first level. Anyhow, right away they're asking for you to place a figure on the portal. So we are going to put Batman on the portal. In that corner. And we're going to get more story. Robin and Batman get sucked up into a void and now it's asking for Gandalf. This is an amazing uh, recreate here. Now it's time for wild style front and center in the main pink spot. Okay, let's just work on this little short adventure to rebuild the Lego uh, portal Stargate thingy that we just built in Speed Build earlier. And we're going to use all our characters here. And like traditional Lego games, uh, certain characters will do certain things. Gandalf is needed. Good work, Gandalf. Put some studs. These little question marks will tell you stuff that's important to the game. Alright, so we built a bunch of pieces. Now I think we need Batman. He's gonna work on this little thing with his battering. Some more pieces. Fun, fun, fun. Now we're gonna need Wild Style. And she's gonna go over here and we're gonna use her double jump. fall down there. I don't know. They'll do it on their own. Woo! Alright, so let's uh, build some more pieces. Alright. Oh, now they want wild style in the pink uh, center on the gameplay, I think. Oh no, they just want her over here. Oh, no, that's what they want. Everybody over here. Oh, and then I want someone, oh, no, no, we're good. We're good, maybe. Are we? No, we need someone over here. Maybe someone over here now. There we go. There's lots of moving your characters around. Finally, some instructions. 
This is going to show us how to build, well, the portal. And we already did that. So this is how you're going to do a lot of the building in the game. It's pretty uh, simple, just like reading your the instructions, right? Press A button to pass through. And done. So that kind of interacts with the actual game. They built the portal and now you rebuild it. Oh, now we're gonna work on the Batmobile, which I surprisingly already have built. This is going to show you how to go through the little instructions on building your Batmobile. Now we're gonna put the oh so cool Batmobile. Very nice. There it is, and vehicles are very entertaining in this game. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh, one more time. Anyhow, let's get this thing going. So this basically starts the regular levels off now. We're going to head to a Wizard of Oz themed world. And then we have your regular Lego video game play going on, you know, collecting studs. Any way you can, finding secrets, all that sort of thing. And you, uh, once again, look for those little purple shields at the end of each level. You're going to fight uh, the Wicked Witch of the West in this level. I believe somewhere over here. If I had the Wicked Witch, I could go into this uh, little area here. So, let's take a quick walk over to the area where you're going to use a lot of your expansion packs. This zone pretty much has a portal for every different character that you can get. Uh, we've got Batman, Superman over here. Upstairs, there's several different portals. This one would be for Wizard of Oz. Portal 2. Ninjago. Which is pretty cool that they added that. Lord of the Rings, so Gandalf could theoretically jump in there. Ghostbusters. So just a ton of portals here. Real quick, let's test out one of my Jurassic World toys. That I picked up, that's over here, so. Here it goes, it says we need a uh, Jurassic World character, so let's pop out the Batmobile and drop in Owen. Okay, I'm here. There he Sorry, is, the Raptor book. Remember how I kind of had to build this on the fly, even though they are online, I believe, the instructions. Let's see if I got this right. I think I did. Okay, they want that guy too. We're gonna load up this portal with a bunch of characters here. Deal. You don't eat me, and I won't get stuck in your throat when you inevitably do. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that is really cool. My life has new meaning. <laughs> All right, in we go. Oh, I guess I gotta get him off. Get off. Okay. Woo! So 
So every character that is on the pad is in the vortex. I love the ability to add more characters than one and uh, switch around them. You really can't do that on any other portal gaming system, I don't believe. This is like the battle with the Balrog all over again. And we have made it to Jurassic World. Awesome. Oh, the awe and grandeur. Wow, look at it. It's so lifelike. How do they do that? It's beautiful. Da 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 Anyhow, so that is how you use one of your expansion pieces and the many others. I'm sure this is another fun filled level. That is fun. And there you go with that. And that is a quick look at the LEGO Dimensions Portal game. Pretty fun overall. I think the ability to use multiple characters and to be able to use LEGO sets building and unbuilding different features makes this highly entertaining and worth the extra dollar because it is a little more expensive than most other gaming portals. I anticipate playing this game for many hours to come. Find this fall 2015, that's what they have to say about that. What about the Lego Glorap Corp cousins? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh oh. Oh no. This isn't good at all. How am I gonna get out of this one? Are my acorns still in there? <laughs>